What do you think when you first saw the giant tank full of water? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I just bombed in, to be honest. Yeah. So you wasn't afraid to uh, filming under the water? No, no, no. I, I grew up in Australia, so we're kind of our culture is very much water based. You know, we're on an island, yeah. so I'm, I'm, I'm very comfortable with being in the water. And when Jim discussed that he how he wanted to do this, I thought, oh, that's a challenging way. And the fact that we're trailblazing it and it never been tried is even more exciting for me. So do you think this was the hardest shot for you? Yeah. To film? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Because you're taking scenes that on dry land are going to take a lot out of you. They're emotional scenes between fathers and sons trying to connect. Mm -hmm. you, we just put them 30 feet deep with no oxygen. <laughs> yeah. You know, most actors would struggle with that on dry land. But, you know, as with any Jim Cameron movie, he just, you know, pushes the envelope. So your own record uh, holding your breath? Oh, easily 15 seconds. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did whatever the boss needed me to do. So. Okay. Yeah, I didn't keep count. Um, Stephen Lang told me that he can hold his breath for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, the idea was the technique allowed you to do as many minutes as you needed. And so, you know, from Stephen to an eight-year-old girl, they were all, you know, everyone got proficient at it. After months and months of training with the world's best, um, to be able to come off scuba and trust this technique of slowing your breath and having enough oxygen in your system to do whatever the scene required, that, yeah. it's quite a feat. So, have you seen the final version of the film? Yeah. Okay, and what do you think? <laughs> I get very emotional talking about it. I don't really have the words to describe it. Um, you know, I'm in it. I know what's going to happen and I still, that's, that's my reaction. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very excited to see what other people think about it. Oh yeah. Um, I uh, have goosebumps. It was very, very good. Um, do you know the stories uh, of the four other scripts? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. <laughs> 18 months of shooting scenes for four movies. How was it for you? Oh, it was 18 months of one movie. Like we we touched on scenes from others, but that's just because the kids were aging out. Yeah. Um, but our primary focus was this movie, and you know the movie's been going since 2017. I think Jim only finished it on Saturday, which is like four days ago. So it's not like it was finished and it's just been sitting around. You yeah. know, Jim's the type of perfectionist that even when COVID hit, he was working through COVID. Wow. Um, they managed to figure out. I think they were the, this was the first movie to to use all these kind of special techniques to keep everybody safe and healthy. Well, even as I said, 2013, someone's been working on it. And that's the thing, it's a labor of love. It's yeah. not just an, a normal film. Wow. Um, in the movie, you say family is our fortress. Uh, what does that mean for your own in your real life? My family? Yeah. Everything. Der Weg des Wassers verbindet alle Dinge. Vor deiner Geburt und nach deinem Tod. Das ist unsere Heimat! Ich brauche dich an meiner Seite. Und du musst stark sein. Im Herzen stark.